my key point for joining NAP from Fnatic was basically I want a new fresh start. Um, I think uh, I want to play with Swedes again. Um, yeah, just I think um, I want to play on a higher level than Fnatic was in the past like one year. And um, yeah, I did not see any good future in Fnatic with that uh, in international squad. So I think it was kind of hard for me to have motivation to play with that team. And uh, yeah, that's why mainly I wanted to to go to NIP and uh, like do something new in my career. The difference between the Fnatic and NIP's playstyle, I think it's more. I think in an NIP we play more of a group and play together as a team. Um, and yeah, I think I think we. We think about so many more ways in in how to play with the team and uh, not to not to play like an individual level all the time as we may build not that much in Fnatic as well. But I think we played I think we play as much, much more structure and uh, um, very grouped as uh, as a team in NAP compared to Fnatic. Uh, I think what we have been focused on in practice lately is like being try to get everyone comfortable in the new roles we have. Um, I think especially being in, me in the team have been pretty pretty hectic. So it between EPL and uh, in, and uh, the RMR. So I think it's just pretty hectic and just try to get everyone as comfortable in their roles and uh, especially like easy time with the new op. Uh, I mean props get rest and. Uh, and this side has switched, uh, like, not between them, but has switched roles and, uh, yeah, some position they changed and, yeah, as I said, be more comfortable. The word is family, I guess, because I feel very happy in the team at the moment. It's And it's really, it feels like yeah, we are all friends and, uh, yeah, I mean, we are sp spreading love to each other all the time, so. I think our journey in the Armar Group B was kind of good, I will say. I think we started up strong against uh, Endpoint and Bad News Eagles. But I think we, we did not play that good as in the third game as the Copenhagen Flames in the BO3. But I think overall we did a good job in, for being like the first event. We haven't done that many practice, uh, practice weeks, maybe like two or three. So it was not that not that much. So I'm really proud of uh, what we were capable of. And yeah, qualify for Legends is a big step for myself uh, as a player. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of the boys and myself to actually yeah deliver on the first event. What can I say about Copeland Flames playstyle? It's like I don't know much about them. But I think they're a very good team, to be honest. Like I think they're very, very annoying to play against. Uh, they play a very good style, I will say. I think they're a very underrated team, and I think they could do some damage on the top teams, of course. Uh, but overall, I think they're a very good team. I think Nico Ross is a very good upper, and uh, I think they have some young talent in Yabby and uh, Siphon. And uh, yeah, I mean they have a good leader, I guess, um, Uxi. And uh, good like star player on Roy. I think he's doing a great job as a solo player on the on some things. So but I think overall I think they're a very good team and uh, yeah I think they can beat I think they can upset many teams in the major. I think the strongest team in Europe right now is not definitely but I think it is FaZe because I think they're very annoying to play against. Um, I mean, overall, they have so much firepower. I would say. I think Brock is doing a great job with the AWP in this in this year, and I mean, bringing up bringing Rops is very good uh, to the team overall. I think he's a great player, and yeah, I mean, they have a good leader behind them and Ikarigan, and yeah, I think they're overall like a very good team. I think our chances at the upcoming major is pretty good. I will say. Um, I mean, it's easy to say, but I think we have some time before going into legend stage now and do some practice. And that's going to be um, really good for us to actually try to get some some more information about ourselves and try to fix them as soon as possible. Uh, I think we did not play that good. Uh, like, I think we played okay in the RMR, but I think we can do really much better. So yeah, I think 
just doing some practice and uh, yeah practice overall in these weeks and i think we maybe can come like into playoffs i think uh, i mean overall we can maybe win the major of course but uh, i don't want uh, so high goals in the into it but uh, yeah i mean playoffs is a uh, really good uh, for I think the, the strongest opponent in this showdown will be Heroic because uh, they are a very good team overall of course and I think they are very annoying to play against compared to the other teams in this tournament. I, I mean we have Ants, uh, we have Astralis, Copeland Flames. Um, I mean we beat Ants and um, Copeland Flames beat us lately but I think overall Heroic is the better team of, of, of every one of them because I mean, I can, you can easily see on the rankings that they are top four in the world, and yeah, I think they're the strongest opponent. My overall goal as a player is, just, of course, to be a stable one, to be consistent every, to, to try to be as consistent as possible. Uh, I want to win a, win a major. Uh, that's a, one of the dreams. But I think overall, I want to be. I want to make history about myself and maybe as a team um, because I mean I have played in competitive CS Tire 1 CS for a long time for like three years and uh, my plan is to stay um, um, in some years of course and uh, yeah I'm on like the goal overall and my dreams is want to make history and just yes, try to win as many trophies as possible in my career and uh, yeah that's my one of the goals. <laughs>